That's a really good pina colada. That's like one of the best pina coladas I've ever had. Really? Good morning, everybody. Um, today I'm gonna go get a haircut. Um, we're gonna go to the pharmacy, grab some stuff, some aloe vera, because I burnt my shoulder super bad. Um, and then what else are we gonna do? I don't know. I think we're gonna go for lunch or dinner and then just explore around Ocotel because we really haven't been around. We've just been staying home and chilling by the pool the last few days. Yeah, so. it's been super nice having a pool. So uh, we've kind of just stayed up here and edited a couple vlogs and edited photos and kind of just hung around the area a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go get a haircut, uh, pharmacy, and grab, so grab a bite to eat and Maybe explore. Maybe go down to the beach later. Probably go down to the set. beach, yeah, because we've been to the Ocotel Beach, but we haven't been to the Cocoa Beach before. Um, so we'll probably go explore the Cocoa Beach and see what's going on down there. And yeah, yeah. anyways guys, let's go do that. <laughs> All right, so we just got to the beach. It's a lot more touristy than any beach that we've been. So we've only been here for like, I don't know how many, like not even a minute. And we've been uh, hounded well, by three different people. This is now as a fourth person. It's a lot tour more touristy than any beach, beach that we've ever been to. This beach looks a lot different than the ones we've been to. Too. Yeah, it does. Like, look at this. So we're gonna walk through here for a little bit, see what's going down, because we've never been to this uh, spot of Ocotel before. So this is Cocoa Beach. <sighs> yeah, this place is a lot more touristy. So if you don't like touristy areas, I wouldn't come to this spot just due to the fact that it is a lot more hustle and bustle compared to the one that we used to go to where Father Rooster's at. It's called Ocotel, a less busy beach, and you're definitely not gonna be getting hounded the whole time when you step out of the car. Like, we didn't even make it out of our taxi, and, uh, <laughs> We were getting hounded by someone to come eat at the restaurant, which we're probably gonna go do. It does look like a good little spot to have, grab a drink and grab something to eat, and then maybe we'll go uh, go do the things that we need to do, go get a haircut, pharmacy, and what else? So we just stopped at a restaurant really quickly. I'm dying of thirst here. St. Hans grabbed a water, um, and I grabbed a uh, pina colada. So we're gonna sit here, drink that really quickly, and then we're gonna head to go do the things that we came here to do. We just wanted to check out the beach really quickly. If you don't like being harangled or harassed and you just wanna be left alone when you're at this place, I don't recommend coming to Cocoa Beach. There's been like six people in the matter of like, what, 10 minutes? 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes coming here um, that have tried to get us to buy stuff. Uh, even sitting here right now, a kid just came up with chips to try to sell us chips while we're sitting at a <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> which is hilarious. Thank you very much. Butter off water. You will. That's a really good pina colada. That's like one of the best pina coladas I've ever had. Really? That's really good. So the restaurant that we're at right now is called Bar El Ancla. So it's basically an uh, the anchor bar. And it's, uh, if you like pina coladas and you're in Coco, definitely come grab one of these because they're super good. So yeah, we just finished that uh, pina colada. That was super good. We got some waters to go with us just while we go look for a place to get a haircut and find a pharmacy because I got to get some aloe vera for my burnt shoulders. I burnt them not yesterday, but the day before um, super badly in the pool. I didn't even leave the uh, place yesterday because my shoulders were so burnt. Yeah, Cocoa Beach is um, definitely a lot more touristy compared to what we're used to with Costa Rica. Like we've always visited Costa Rica and gone to areas that like aren't that touristy. And this is the first time we've ever experienced haggling, like, you know, people trying to come sell you bracelets and hats and shirts and everything else. But it's the bracelets. Like, we've had how many people? We've had, like, a lot of like people. nine people, I think, show up with just the same exact bracelets. So if you guys don't like to be harassed or harangled and you're just looking for a spot that's kind of low-key, I definitely don't recommend Cocoa Beach. Um, just across the way, there's actually a beach called Ocotel, which you and I went to last time we were here yeah and that was super I nice I, 
yeah, you don't remember the Cables Beach. Cables Beach is probably one of the nicest beaches that we've been to. The nicest beach that we've actually been able to swim in and stuff is in Samra. Um, so this one is a little bit darker. I mean, the beach is super nice, but... Uh, the water is really blue here. It's just super busy. So if you don't like busy areas, this isn't the place for you guys for sure. So anyways, we're going to go try to find those spots to grab a haircut and uh, go to the pharmacy. Those were pretty cute, little baby chickens. This is a lot busier town than we're used to in Costa Rica, to be honest. Yeah, we like it low-key, not, not as like hustle and bustle. Town. All right, okay. so we just we just asked somebody where a barber was, and we were headed in the right direction. So we're gonna go up there, and then we're gonna go to the uh, pharmacy as well, which is just up here on the corner. So, I, oh, here's the pharmacy right here. Should work. Yeah, put it in here. Just put it in here. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so step one complete. We got our aloe vera and, and some, sunscreen. Uh, some sunscreen. Now we're off to go find uh, Barber. Oh, Santana, look what's there. That's where we should go. We should go to the casino. Nah. See if we can some win some more money like we did last time at the hotel. So he said it's just past this sign up here. Go to like 50 meters and then on the left. I got my hair cut. I gotta go home now and shower. I hate when I get a haircut and uh, all the hair gets down your back. It's the worst feeling ever. Especially when I have a sunburn on my back right now. It like feels like little needles going into my uh, sunburn. It feels so uncomfortable right now. It wasn't that expensive. It was only uh, 12 US dollars roughly for that haircut. I ended up giving them uh, about $18 with a tip and stuff. So. <laughs> Guy we ran into earlier told us where the barber shop was. That's funny. I don't know if we're gonna eat down here though. I don't know. What do you want to do now? There is a restaurant right there we should go to it someday. It's called Taste of Texas. Taste of Texas? Why? It was just right there. I don't know. It looks good. Does it? We're gonna go back to the place that we were just at having a drink. So hot. Ooh, a little bump there. So hot, so we uh, got our cab back and we're heading back to our place now. We're just gonna cook supper at home anyways. Um, the place that we were just at was super busy, super touristy, so um, we're gonna, it's a nice day out, so we're gonna enjoy the pool and uh, gonna make sure I put sunscreen on my shoulders so I don't get double, triple burnt because uh, my shoulders are really badly burnt and they were super itchy this morning, like uncontrollably itchy, so. We're on our way back right now. So we just stopped here to go grab some beer before we head back to the uh, place. And, uh, oh, it's hurting my sunburn. We're in the grocery store right now. We're getting some beer. Santana's got my other beer there. Now she's getting some snacks. Santana got some uh, red Powerade. I got some beer. We're gonna cash out right now. Can you uh, grab my money into my backpack? There we go. All right, we got our beer. We're head back in. The girl didn't like us recording for some reason. She took a picture of me, but hey, it is what it is. So that's hilarious. We just got back to our place now and uh, we were recording just us grabbing beer and some snacks. And uh, Santana's just recording me pay, um, just for the vlog, obviously. And the, the woman who owned the store, I guess, I think it's, I don't know, the guy who, who was telling us that I didn't understand fully, but they, I did understand that apparently she has killed two people, um, that girl that owns that store, so. All right, we're gonna go in the pool. I just like lathered my shoulders up with sunscreen because <laughs> 
I am so burnt and I don't want to risk getting like a double burn, so. Um, we're going to bring Creed down You're going to bring Creed? Yeah, we're going to bring Creed in the pool. Have him go for a little swim. What are you doing, Peanut? I wonder if he'll just follow us. Because every time I go down, my body's like heavy. My shoulders are so burnt. I'm gonna get my hair wet real quick. Help cool me down a bit. But this water is so hot. It's just bath water is all it is. It's pretty cool. We got the infinity pool here. So it's a pretty nice little spot. We're actually gonna end up staying here for two months, I think, and then just traveling around and using this kind of as our home base. But So we had Creed just sitting on this little thing in here. He can't really go anywhere when he's out here, but we'll pull him in the water really quickly. But uh, he hated every single minute of it. He hates the pool, doesn't like the pool one, one bit. So we just brought him in and brought my camera gear over there now so we can enjoy the pool and relax. Santana's just inside right now, putting him back in. And well, she brought me out a beer too. Isn't Santana's cool looking that? like a local. Do you yeah. want to put it in my cozy for me? Yeah. You're a little cozy. Cheers guys. Oh, such a nice day out. My camera just shut off because it was too hot, so I might do it again, but. Oh, I got the hiccups. Too many cervezas. I'm gonna go inside because my burn's starting to hurt right now. And uh, probably go do some video editing. And then I think Santana's gonna start making supper here in a couple hours, eh? I gotta work on some stuff for Cronk Grow, get that all done, um, get some blog post up. And uh, other than that, we're kind of just relaxing the rest of the day and not doing a whole lot. All right, so supper is done. We're about to eat that, and uh, probably I'm gonna just have my beers that I've been having. The old Imperial, the Costa Rican beer. Anyways, guys, that's about it for tonight. We just wanted to try to do like a little daily vlog, I guess. Um, you know, get some stuff done that we'd normally get done throughout the day. See if how this vlog turns out. I'm excited for Monday's vlog that we're recording because like I was saying earlier, we're gonna be up doing the crocodiles, waterfalls. We have a full day planned out. So see you guys next time.